right, so today I'm gonna to go over the Allen Sports Bike Rack. It's the four bike holder, and it mounts to a two inch receiver. And it is the no wobble bolt style. So to mount it, you actually have to use a three quarter inch, I mean, any kind of setup on each side, so three quarter inch wrench is what I use, and then ratchet with a socket on it. Uh, simple mount. On short trips, it works out really well with the bolt style. On longer trips, I do prefer the, the pin with the lock inside. And then I can uh, put a rope lock in and tie it into the receiver so no one can take the bikes. <clears throat> so a couple features of this is it actually has the fold away, as you see here. So you just pull this pin out, and then lift it up, and then lock it into place, and that's your uh, when you mount the bikes on it and then when you're driving and you don't have any bikes you can just stow it away like that if you have a trunk like this which the tahoe has has a full lift up lid uh, you can actually pull this pin down here and fold the bike rack over so you can open up the hatch it doesn't work too well when you have full-size bikes on it i will tell you that but uh if you have relatively small bikes it will work now, one of the reasons I got this is uh, we actually hold five bikes, and I know it's a four bike holder, but if you have three kids' bikes and then two adult bikes, it will work. We usually mount the adult bike close to the car, the first one, and then we can fit two on each mount and then one in between. And that only works with kids' bikes. I haven't tried with uh, full size bikes yet. So you are able to get five on here, and then with it being in the center, it is held together by all the rest of the bikes, so you don't have to worry about loosening it. Uh, one thing I will say is that when you have two bikes on here, you do experience a lot of wobble. So one thing I found is that if you just attach a rope lock or a bungee cord to the frame of your bike, and then wrap around the pin, it actually keeps the bikes from swaying and rocking back and forth and actually hitting the bike hitch. Um, as with a lot of my reviews, I don't do them out of the box. Uh, I like to try it out for a while, and I've actually had this for a year and used it about 15, 20 times. And uh, it's, it's worked really well. One thing I will say is that uh, the power coating on it, or the paint, the black paint over the metal, is actually pretty good because I've had this mounted on here for almost two, three months straight at one point. And as you can see, there's really no rust, no wear on it. So it handled the weather very well. As far as price, you can get these for right around, I got this for $65, that was on sale. The normal price is around 90 to 100, and that just varies by where you get it at. That's the, that's the Walmart price, I got it on sale. As far as uh, mountain a bike, so as far as mountain bikes, it's actually really easy to mount them on here, uh, especially if you have a larger bike like this one. This is a GT full-size men's mountain bike, and the frame is big enough to just slide it over. But uh, like with the women's, they have the smaller frames and a downward slope. So you have to turn the mounts inside like this, and then once you get the bike where you need to, you slide them up and then put the straps in. Uh, like I said, a lot of times you'll get like this, this way, and the easy way to do that is just take a bungee cord and you can pin it back. Once it's pinned back, it has very little rock and can't move around when you got to tap the brakes and all that stuff. But yeah, so so far a year in, it's it's been a really good bike rack, really good price. Uh, it's it's handled everything really well. It's handled the Texas heat very well. Um, and for the money, you really can't beat it. Like I said. It's a four bike holder, but if you have three kids bikes, you can mount three kids bikes and two adult bikes, total of five. Uh, any questions, drop them below. I'll be happy to answer.